Ah, oh, geez, not another talking video. Well, don't worry. This is the last announcement video I'm probably going to make for a while, and I'll get back to the gameplay. I just wanted to clear up a few things that have been going on with the channel lately. First of all, I've determined that TGN is most likely responsible for my ad preferences being reset all the time on my videos. Apparently, this is a common thing that all the networks do, either daily or weekly or monthly, they have a big reset on all of the channels in their network just to make sure that everyone has all of the ads available. And, you know, from their perspective that makes a lot of sense because they're in it for the money, they want the most expensive ads up there so that they can make more money. From a business perspective that makes a lot of sense and the ability to choose probably is reserved for actual YouTube partners rather than people who are going through a third-party network. So it doesn't really benefit me much and I think it's actually hurting the channel like I've said several times before uh, to have all those types of ads on so I don't think this partnership thing is going to work out for me as it is now. My channel just is not big enough that I can afford to push viewers away and partnership hasn't really been doing what I've wanted it to do anyway, so... Secondly, I have solved the mystery of all those viewers on my Let's Quickly Play Risk video. Now, I guess I didn't really explain it in that previous video, and some of you didn't really understand why I was upset about this. But let me explain here. I thought that this unusual amount of viewers was suspicious because, looking at my other videos, they did not have anything like that in views, and usually when someone finds my channel through a video, they watch other videos, or they subscribe, or they comment on the frickin' video that they're watching. None of that was there. They were just viewing it, and then they were leaving. That was really suspicious to me, and I kind of thought that maybe, worst case scenario, it was someone who was click bombing me. And basically what that means is that it's someone who refreshes that video again and again and again to get the ads to pop up again and again and again. Whether malicious or not, that does not go unnoticed by the people with the ads and YouTube. If they notice an unusual amount of traffic coming from one source, then that's a big red flag and something like that is against the terms of both the partnership contract and YouTube terms of service. So while I could have lost the partnership, I could have also lost my channel because that is quote unquote illegal activity. And I was kind of confused about it because I'm not big enough to have a lot of haters. And so it just, it, it really confused me. But anyway, it turns out that all those views were in fact from watching an embedded video and I was able to track down where that video was embedded and I guess I should have considered that to be the most likely choice just because it makes sense if you're watching it on another web page you're not going to have the ability to comment or view my other videos and that sort of thing so good news there the slightly bad news though is that it, it is embedded on, on a pirate website and I actually went back and looked at some of my other more popular videos just to see where people were coming from and where they were viewing. And it turns out that several of my videos are actually embedded on these pirate websites. So either my videos are showing up near the top listings when someone is searching for a game to put on their website, or it's one of you. I don't know. It's interesting, though, anyway. I think I'll allow it. I mean, I'm not sure I want to be associated with that, but I don't think there's going to be negative consequences for it. So, lastly, actual games on my channel. As promised, I am getting The Sims 3 and Pokemon Conquest videos ready, and I'm going to have another one to go on the side here. But I need just a little bit of time to record. That's sort of why I quickly did redid some of those SimCity 3000 videos because I need a little bit more time for the actual let's plays that I'm going to be doing on the channel but they are coming so by the end of the week at least there should be some new game footage of those let's plays but despite the kind of oddball past week or so the state of the channel is good things are looking good thanks for your continued support and stay tuned <laughs>